Well, businesses like this one that have boarded up either temporarily or permanently are starting to become a bit of a more common sight around our area and restaurant owners already struggling to survive. Tell me that to go orders are just not enough to make ends meet. A lit up open sign peeks through the shades of an outdoor awning as another small business owner is struggling to survive. I'm hanging on by my fingers and I don't even have fingernails. It's just Every day is a struggle to, to make ends meet. Shauna Rivera opened Lido's Cafe in Carmichael 27 years ago, but shutdown after shutdown, she says, is killing her business. I feel bad for all of us, you know, but it's something that you, you love that's being taken away slowly. She says their small business loans ran out months ago. So in order to keep paying the bills and supporting their family, they say they have no other choice but to stay open. Let us have a few people. Let us have the patio, you know, um, and that I think that will keep us alive. It won't, you know, we're not going to make a profit. We're not even looking to make a profit. Just will keep us alive. Over in the South Sacramento area, the Franklin Boulevard Business Association says the pandemic has caused at least two confirmed business closures in their district. And after reaching out to 260 businesses in their area, the majority of which said they are also struggling. You know, they were already struggling to make ends meet, many of them months behind in rent. Um, we're really, uh, frankly, we're quite concerned um, how they will fare through this second shelter in place order shutdown. But sadly, they expect many more closures to come after this shutdown. And the owner of Lido's Cafe, along with dozens of other business owners, are coming together tomorrow morning for an in-person meeting to discuss ways to save their businesses. Again, that's tomorrow morning at 1030 at the Milagro Center.